Hi, this is Randy Tremolis with Tremendous Enterprises Home Inspection, and you're watching Wine and Real Estate TV. Hi, it's Chris Morton with another episode of Wine and Real Estate TV here today with Randy Tremolis from Tremendous Enterprises Home Inspection. Randy, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Uh, today's topic is pre-inspection, so it's sort of specialized towards our seller uh, viewers out there, people thinking about selling their home. Randy, um, you did an inspection for me a couple of days ago, and we had, uh, were sharing horror stories about sellers who should have gotten a pre-inspection. Uh, I think most sellers think, why would I need to waste money doing a, a pre-inspection on my home before I put it on the market? Because a buyer's just going to do an inspection. So why don't you share one of those stories from, from, that you have for me? Yep. Um, well, the reason you should do a pre-inspection is um, you're emotionally attached to your house. Right. And that's a great thing. Um, we're not saying it's a bad thing or anything like that. You're emotional, but you look at your house in a, uh, through rose-colored glasses. And that might not give you a true picture of what you're selling to somebody else who's coming in, who's looking at it as an investment, who's worried about that house to start with. Um, you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that puts you in an in a emotional state. Um, you know, you're, you're excited about buying this house because you, you like it, and that, but you're also worried that you're spending all this money. Is this house, you know, going to be good for you for 20, 30, 50 years? Um, so what a pre-inspection does, it gives you a true um, picture of what your house is. Most homeowners that I know never crawl their crawl space. Right, they never right. even get into their crawl space, especially if it's a low crawl space. And in a crawl space, you can sometimes find some things that are going on with the house that, the, that don't necessarily present in the home envelope. Um, so just the other day, I was crawling the crawl space. Of, it was only four foot high. Um, the homeowner had never crawled the crawl space. And if they, they had, they'd not crawled into the area I was in or looked at what I look at. Um, that's why we're trained the way we're trained is we look at everything, um, plumbing and how they affect everything else around right. them. Um, when I got to the master bathroom area, everything was looking good, um, no water issues, nothing leaking. Um, then that's I look good. up to where the toilet is and a floor joist is cut to install <laughs> the toilet. Um, so and it had been there the whole time. It had been there since they built the house. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an add-on bathroom, it was in the original plans. And, they had done that and the house was 10 years old. So that homeowner had owned that house for 10 years with a four joist cut under the toilet. So luckily um, there wasn't anything other damage going on, but that could have compromised the toilet, toilet seal. And when that happens, you have toilet leaks that you don't necessarily know about. And then you have rot, fungal growth, a lot of bad issues that you don't want to have happen. I was just thinking about the final end result if that was uh on the first floor of that toilet. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I'm sitting here laughing about. Yeah. That's terrible. So, of course, if you're, if you, if I, me, but if, if an agent's bringing a buyer into that situation mm -hmm. and get that on an inspection report from you or another inspector, they're going to freak out about that. They, they, they could freak out about it. Uh, you know, it is, it, you know, you're dealing with a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. Very rarely do you have a buyer or even a seller who isn't emotionally involved in what's going on. Right. Um, you know, some, some, Buyers are so emotionally involved that they are, if anything's wrong in the house, they're going to walk away. Um, and nobody wants that, but that's the reality of certain situations. Uh, but if they had had a pre-inspection, at least by me, I would have caught it, would have brought it to their attention. They could have fixed it before the buyer, before they even put it on the market. Then the buyer, um, who inspector, came in, saw that either it was, uh, it was fixed, it might not even have made it to a report. If it did make it to a report, it would have made it as uh, was noted that this area was repaired, asked right. for homeowner disclosure, and then guess what? You have a contractor who's been in, you have what they've done, you've had how they've done it, all in paperwork that you can go, listen, here you go, right. everything's done, you don't have to worry about it. There's no worries here. There's no worries in my house. We've right. taken care of everything. Or at the very least, they've had that inspection done, that pre-inspection. They've had a contractor out to give them an estimate. They know what it's going to cost, and they've got it planned. And so that listing agent can disclose right at the very beginning, by the way, we've had a pre-inspection. Mm -hmm. They caught this, 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 and this. We fixed these three. These other three big things are going to be fixed prior to closing. And, and that's going to do almost as good at alleviating someone's concern right off the bat. And, it's, and more importantly, it's going to put your house head and shoulders above anything else out there that the buyer's looking at. Well, 
That's very true. I did a pre-inspection for a couple, uh, a couple weeks ago. They're about to close in a couple days on a house. Um, they released the pre-inspection and the buyer didn't even have an inspection. They went off of my pre-inspection uh, and they had already you know, done the reports. The only thing that the buyer wanted was the paperwork on those repairs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. who did it, what they did to, do, to fix it and what was you know, signed off on and everything. And they were happy, it went really smoothly. No one was you know, super emotional about everything. It was, uh, and they're closing and getting pretty much top dollar out of, out of their house. So it's, it's one of the things is if you know uh, what you might have to, have to um, fix, then you know the money you might, you have to spend beforehand. Right. If you wait until uh, a, a buyer gets a inspection, then guess what? You might have thousands of dollars in repairs you didn't know about. Right. At least you can budget for it on the front end at the very least. Uh, that brings to mind a story. I, I've had a couple, uh, as a, when I was representing a buyer, I've had two roofs that needed replacing and the seller had to dip into their savings in one case. In another case, they had to walk away from the deal and rent the home for a year until they saved up money uh, because they negotiated, I negotiated too good a deal for them. If you're a seller thinking about selling and you get someone like Randy to come to a pre-inspection, you can at least, at the very least, budget for those items. And again, it puts you head and shoulders above everybody else. Uh, you're not in a position of weakness. And it's gonna cost you a few hundred dollars, but you almost consider that marketing money to market your home. Marketing money and then, and, and also, it might actually save you mm -hmm. in, you know, just if you get the report back and nothing's wrong with your house, right. which unfortunately hardly ever happens. There's always <laughs> something going on. Because yeah. houses are pretty much living beings. It changes right. by the season. Your house breathes, your house has a circulatory system with your plumbing, and it has a nervous system with your electrical. Um, that's how we look at it as a living being, it changes. Um, so then you have a, a great picture, a true picture, of what you're selling to somebody. And you can put that into whatever marketing you're doing. I've had a pre-inspection, you know, everything's great, you know, then, then you know, they're like, oh, well, they've already had a pre-inspection and it came back great and then guess what they're walking into that with a, a sense of security that they they might you know everyone's like oh i love this house but we gotta wait for the inspection to come right. back to right. see if if there's any issues um fear well guess unknown. what the fear of the unknown well on your side of it if you do a pre-inspection you've alleviated 99 percent of that right off the bat and then they're like oh they've had a pre-inspection already they've already had a professional come out and pre-inspect the house. Oh, wow, well, it, you know, and especially if, it, if you're taking care of everything, you release it to them, they, they read the report before they even, before they even put a bid in on the house and, and you fixed all this and this and that, the other. Information is power. You have all that information, they now have that information mm -hmm. and, and the person who might waste your time by, oh, well, they've had this issue, and that's not something I, even if they fixed it, I don't want to deal with it. Right. Then, that, then you're not wasting the time pulling your house and, and putting it off the market for however long it takes right. to them to make a decision. Right. They're not, they would just move on versus wasting your time by taking it off the market. Exactly. Well, tell everybody how they can get in touch with you um, if they want to get a pre-inspection or, of course, a buyer's inspection. Okay. Well, my phone number is 919-523-7807. Or you can check out my website, TremendousEnterprisesNC.com. Very good. Well, this is typically the time of the show that we drink wine, but it's 9 o'clock in the morning, so we decided not to do that. We'll definitely have Randy back and make him drink some wine uh, in a, at a more suitable hour in the future. Uh, and, uh, and as always, want to thank you for watching our show. Um, for further episodes of this, go to Wine and Real Estate TV, and that's spelled, as always, W-I-N-E-A-N-D-R-E.com. This has been Chris Morton, your host. Randy, thank you so thank much you. for your time. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.